Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are here with a really quick crafting hack. So I don't know about you, but these days I am definitely ordering basically all of my crafting supplies online and sometimes what shows up is not necessarily what I was expecting or what I honestly feel was even pictured in the description, but you work with what you get, right? So I'm going to show you a quick way to kind of perk up and transform foam flowers when you get them and they're a little bit squished from the packaging. So I ordered two sets of foam flowers. These I got from Amazon. They're actually quite nice and they ripe straight stemmed, which is very, very nice. And these I got from a different online retailer and I thought they were going to be the better of the two based on the pictures and description, but they're definitely not. So I'm going to go back for the Amazon ones, but not these. But you'll notice that they're like super squished and um, I mean, the stems were bent, but that's not really a big deal because there's a wire in there, you can unbend them. But the blooms themselves are very, very squished. Like they're very squished. I'm gonna do some close-ups on them. Um, they're not quite as nice as the Amazon ones, but even the Amazon ones have like creases in them from shipping. So I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to fix your faux flowers. And basically it just involves boiling them in water for two minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our blooms, we're gonna boil them. We're gonna come back and see what it leaves us with. All right, so these are a few of the flowers. These are probably the ones that are worse for wear. You can see they've got some markings on them. I unbent the stems as best I could, um, but I mean, this one's just bent in half. Like it's not even good, right? You can see a lot of the little crease marks as far as the shipping went. Even in the ones that are open, there are crease marks in them. They're just, you know, they look damaged. Like no one's gonna look at this and think it's a real flower. It just doesn't look real. Um, so that's what we're hoping to rectify with these. This is the batch from Amazon. It fared much better in transit. So it came with the straight stem, which is really, really nice. They are just like better blooms. Let me grab the other ones. Like they are just objectively, like the blooms bigger for the Amazon one. It's got like the little bit of green on the end, which I actually like. I think it makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, the transition of colors is a little bit softer. Um, the Amazon one does have a shorter stem, but I'm not super worried about that. So you're going to want to get your water boiling in a big pot, not a rolling boil, just like when the bubbles start coming up, you don't want it too hot. Go ahead and bend your flowers into little kind of U shapes, and this is so that you can put a weight on them and they'll stay. There are two ways to do this. I'm choosing this method because dealing with this and the camera and hot water just seemed like a lot. Um, so what I'm doing is, you know, bending them and then putting the weights on them, just like little knives and stuff, so that they stay under the water. Another way to do it is to just hold them upside down in the water. The reason I don't like doing that, I mean, there's pros and cons. The pros is the stem stays straight. The cons is that your hand is above a pot of steaming hot boiling water for two minutes, and that's a lot for me. So I do it this way. Feel free to do whatever works for you. Take them out. You can put them on a paper towel just for a second, really, just like drain out the water. And like within moments, you can grab them. They're like, they cool down pretty quickly. And then you're going to want to hang them somewhere to dry. I mean, they're fine right now, but it's better if you let them dry. So just like the little door of your oven works perfectly. And then once they're dry, we will bring them back and examine them and see how they turned out. All right, you guys, so I am back with my boiled blooms. We have the Amazon contender and the other one that shall not be named. And honestly, I think they turned out really well. I'm going to un uncurl the stem here and do some comparisons. I will do some close-ups at the end for you as well. But here is the boiled Amazon next to another one. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. The Amazon ones actually looked really good out of the box. So no surprise there. There's just a few creases that I was hoping to get out. A few things that you need to worry about when you're doing this, things that could go wrong. Um, this part right here, the glue part, does get a little sticky and stays sticky for a while when it comes out of the boiling water, so keep that in mind. Also, if you are overzealous with your boiling water temperature, you can melt the plastic of the stem. You're going to melt the plastic of the stem way before you melt the foam flower, and if you do, it's going to look a little something like this. I was overzealous with the heat in my water. I will also zoom up on this so you can see what I mean, but basically it just like heat shrunk it to the wire inside. It still looks fine. It still looks pretty natural. I mean, some flowers look like that. So but you can see the difference in the nice round stem versus the one that's been boiled to death. The good thing is, is it really didn't affect the foam head at all. Like that still looks really good. It just affected the stem. And when you have a bunch of them together, you're not gonna be able to tell. So it doesn't matter, um, but watch that if you wanna protect your stems. 
So we will compare the other ones here. So basically they all looked like this, like super flat. They're actually like opening up now that they're airing out. But you can see the boiled one has a much nicer, softer look to it. Again, close-ups at the end. But yeah, this is definitely a win as far as that goes. This one, obviously I didn't boil the stem too much and it still looks great. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a difference that I see. I'm hoping the camera gets it. But yeah, that is the little crafting hack I have for you today. I know previously I had done a similar video for how to kind of fluff up faux flowers when they were made out of fabric. Uh, that technique is awesome. It uses a blow dryer and it's great for fabric flowers, but for foam ones, I find that the boiling technique tends to work a bit better. So yeah, there you go. I hope you found that helpful and I will see you here again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Okay, so we are back post boiling. You can see the one, um, I promise close ups, that I over boiled. Like the stem just doesn't look great, but the flower head still does. So don't throw it away because you can just hide this in the stack of all the other ones and no one will see the stem, but the flower head looks really good. So we will put that off to the side and I will use, oops, like that flying. I will use a great example of how this can work really well. So this one in my right hand is just the one straight out of the package shipped. And the one in my left hand is the boiled one. You can kind of see it's opened up a little bit more. Like the flower head's opened up a bit more. It looks a bit softer. Um, it just kind of like smoothed out some of the markings. Um, additionally, all the little bits of dirt are gone on here, which means I need to wash my pot. But, you know, you can see some markings from packaging. This one had some too. They all basically had them. Um, so yeah, they do look better. They do look fluffier. So uh, those are those two. We're going to go on to the non-Amazon ones. Let's see which one's which. Oh yeah, this is the boiled one. These are the two non-boiled ones. So I grabbed two of these just to show you that it wasn't like, I'm not picking like the super, super smushed one just to like show you. Like they all came pretty ratty and smushed. Oh, is that one torn? Oh, that one's torn too. I mean, I guess that makes it kind of look real, like real flowers hair. Um, but you can see like kind of, just kind of busted looking, honestly. Whereas this one, even the really, like it started looking like these, but boiling it, like even this one looks good. Even this one looks decent from across the room. You might mistake this for real. Whereas across the room, you would never mistake this for real. Like it just looks, looks busted. But this one looks decent. Um, so even if you don't have super high quality flowers, boiling them can make them look a little bit better.